Smile, you're on camera. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're going to be exploring all the strange, weird, and downright crazy things that have been caught on camera. And to start, well, here are some of the creepiest things that have been captured on dash cams. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 creepiest things caught on dash cam. Uh, what's going on? Even watching it again, cops are unable to make sense of it. All they see is an intact fence and nothing more than the vanishing taillights of what the Garden City PD has come to call the ghost car. For this list, we're focusing on weird or disturbing events and avoiding footage of crashes and bad driving. Have you seen anything creepy while driving? Number 10. Hooded Man Screams at Car In May of 2015, a man was driving down a dark road north of Sydney, Australia, when he encountered a parked truck. A hooded man then approaches the car, and the driver slows down. As the car passes the hooded man, he screams into the window and the driver speeds away in total fear. The Newcastle Herald reports that the driver's wife, who was driving about a minute behind, was also accosted by the hooded man. The anonymous woman told the paper, quote, I almost stopped before I could go around this guy. And as we went past, he just lunged at our door. The police were called and found the man sleeping inside the truck. He was charged with possession of crystal methamphetamine. Number 9. Trees Falling Apparently everything wants to get you in Australia, even the trees. This dash cam footage was captured on December 29, 2014 in Victoria, Australia. The area was suffering a windstorm, resulting in some debris striking the windshield as the car drove down the country road. That is, until an entire tree collapses on the road directly in front of the car, quickly followed by several others. This is a terrifying video showcasing the merciless and unpredictable nature of, well, nature. If the car had been traveling just a little bit faster, or if they had started their drive just a little bit sooner, they would have been squashed by a falling tree. Number 8. Giant Spider Many people hate spiders, so just imagine a giant one sneaking up behind you. Actually, don't bother. This footage shows you exactly what that would look like. After a Texas police officer returns to his patrol car following a routine traffic stop, a giant spider can be seen scurrying on the road behind him. Luckily, the footage is a little deceptive. It wasn't a giant mutant spider sneaking up on the unknowing police officer, but a regular spider crawling across his windshield, creating an optical illusion. Giant mutant spiders would certainly be scarier, but this still makes for some very eerie footage nevertheless. We just somebody. need to add some music with that dun, 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 spider dun, 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 dun. from outer space. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Number 7. Taiwan Rock Slide If the video of the toppling tree didn't startle you, then this one surely will. While driving along a road in Taiwan, a horrifying moment was captured in which a falling boulder nearly crushed a car and its occupant. Just as the cars are driving under a mountain, a boulder explodes from the hillside above. The heavy dirt showers onto the white car in front of the driver and knocks it off course. When the debris clears, an almost 300-ton boulder can be seen teetering right next to the car, having missed it by mere inches. Turns out, massive rocks, steep hills, and rain do not mix. This is like something from a disaster film, and it makes for terrifying viewing. Number 6. Lightning On June 11, 2014, an Australian man named Mitch Baker was driving his car through an evening thunderstorm. The dash cam footage begins with Baker pulled over, his headlights illuminating the grass before him. Immediately after he begins driving, a bolt of lightning strikes his car in a brilliant flash of light. Accompanying the flash is a creepy and somewhat empty metallic sound, like something was slapped onto the car's hood. Luckily, both Baker and his vehicle were okay, the only damage being a warped brake disc. Despite walking away from the ordeal, Baker was likely left shaken and feeling quite lucky. Number 5. Family Escapes Storm 
The rising winds, dark skies, and mounting fear in this clip give us shivers every time. Wow, it's your light is green or not. I'm getting out of here. Go this way. Away from the storm. In August 2020, Brooke Porter drove into Grimes, Iowa with her children, only to find herself in the middle of an insane windstorm. We are that? legit in the middle. Okay, yeah. what's wrong? Okay, we gotta get out of here. Realizing that the storm is all around them and thinking fast, she makes for a nearby store. Once in the parking lot, she tells the kids to just run and hustles them out of the car. Just run, just run. But in the crazy winds, the last kid tumbles down and has to be helped up by his mother. Fortunately, they did all make it to safety. Whew, we are out of breath just watching this again. Number four, ghost car. This mysterious driver tricks cops into thinking he's about to pull over, then all hell breaks loose. The officers watching this tape get only a quick glimpse of the man behind the wheel. It's the last look they'll get. We all know about ghosts. Some of us may swear to have seen one. But what about ghost cars? If dash cam footage is anything to go by, this is not a rare phenomenon. In Russia, someone captured a car that seemingly comes out of nowhere in the middle of a busy intersection. But perhaps the most famous footage of a ghost car comes from this police dash cam footage. During a chase, the driver spins his vehicle around, drives past the police car, and then seemingly vanishes into thin air. For a moment, it appears as if the driver and his car have disappeared into thin air. But in the blink of an eye, the driver comes into view again. This time, he tries to outrun the police rather than just vanish. His moves are still baffling to the police as he swerves all over the road, driving like a man possessed. And just when he's really thrown the cops for a loop, he gets back on a straightaway, showing off a seemingly supernatural speed. The police catch up to him, but then the car seemingly drives through a metal fence, successfully evading the police. They can only watch in amazement as the red taillights fade into the darkness. Even watching it again, cops are unable to make sense of it. All they see is an intact fence and nothing more than the vanishing taillights of what the Garden City PD has come to call the ghost car. Number three, creepy roadblock. While driving the New Jersey Turnpike late at night, a man named Ivan Tukton encountered a creepy sight. In front of him were two traffic cones, a black car, and a man wearing jeans. The dash cam clearly shows the cones and car, and all that is seen of the man are his blue jeans walking towards Tukton's vehicle. Can I, what's going on? Can I help you with something? Yes. Um. Feeling suitably creeped out, Tukton weaved between the traffic cones and sped away. It's certainly creepy, but the police believe it to have a relatively harmless explanation. After investigating the scene and arresting two men, the police learned that their car had run out of gas on the highway and that the man had put down traffic cones in a misguided attempt to get help. Because of his quick thinking, Tuckton considers himself very lucky. It's scary to think that's the world we live in today. The New Jersey State Police tells us two men were arrested for setting up this fake roadblock, and right now this case is still under investigation. Number two, clown. 2016 was a weird year. For some bizarre reason, people began dressing up as clowns and terrorizing innocent people. Oh, shit! He's oh running after us! Hit it! Hit that bitch! Oh Hit that bitch! <laughs> as you can imagine, various clown sightings were captured on dash cams. In October 2016, two creepy clowns were spotted by a police car standing by the side of the road. Guys, you make sure to keep your hands where we can see them, all right? Hey, two seventeen down there. Why don't you guys come up to this barrier right here? Go ahead and put your butts against it. An even creepier sighting occurred over in Yorkshire, England. While driving down a dark road, a family spotted a clown walking in front of their car. The clown then waved at the car before running towards it. This has to be one of the spookiest pranks in some time, but also one of the most dangerous, as evidenced by the Yorkshire clown almost being run over. 
Number one, the Chelyabinsk meteor. The images look like something out of a movie, a tiny asteroid tearing through space at a speed of 33,000 miles per hour before streaking across southern Russia. Cameras caught sight of the white trail as it headed across the sky. And then this. <laughs> An explosion of light, then a massive sonic boom. Perhaps the creepiest and most popular thing ever captured on dashcam is the Chelyabinsk meteor. This meteor traveled and exploded over the Chelyabinsk Oblast of Russia on the morning of February 15, 2013. The meteor was captured by dozens of dash cams around the area, most of which displayed the same thing, a bright streak of light blazing through the sky before exploding in a concussive flash. And then all hell broke loose. <laughs> Dizzying explosions shattering windows, knocking these office workers to the ground. These students were lucky, protected by curtains from the flying glass, and these men barely escaped the blast. In the streets, pandemonium. Terrified residents thought the world was ending. In some cases, the meteor even lights up the surrounding area, briefly turning dusk into day. While it looks like something out of Armageddon, the damage was relatively limited, with 1,500 injuries and zero deaths reported. It could have been a lot worse, considering the meteor was up to 33 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. Scientists say the meteor shower was not related to an asteroid that will fly dangerously close to Earth today, but one estimate suggested this meteor was big, perhaps tens of tons. Here at Radia, ABC News, Moscow. If there is one store that always seems to bring out the crazy in people, it's Walmart. Yes, grab your shopping carts and Hold your loved ones. Things are about to get wild. She's just going to cuss you up and down. Well, you should be used to that. I'm used to lots of things. I work at Walmart. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 crazy incidents caught on camera in Walmart. I've done a lot of weddings in 45 years, but this is my first time being at a Walmart. <laughs> For this list, we'll be looking at the wildest, strangest, and most unpredictable moments caught on film in the big box store. What's the weirdest thing you've seen when you've gone out shopping? Number 10. Quitting on camera. If you've ever worked retail or for an awful boss, you've probably fantasized about quitting in a dramatic fashion. Attention, all Walmart shoppers! Well, Shauna Blackwell, who worked as a night stalker at a store in Lubbock, Texas, took matters into her own hands and quit her job over the store's intercom system in October 2020. Fucking quit! I'm out. Not only did she quit, but she called out the disgusting behavior of fellow employees, managers, and the company as a whole. We're all perverts, and I hope you don't talk to your daughters the way you talk to me. Blackwell recorded her resignation and posted it on social media, where it went viral. In a later interview with Mother Jones, Blackwell pointed out the unfairly low pay she received in one of the store's most physically demanding positions. You go, girl. I just want to come on here and say is a racist, stinky Number 9. Mask Meltdown While we saw plenty of kindness and empathy during the COVID-19 pandemic, we unfortunately also saw quite a bit of disregard for other people's health and safety. You've not established authority to tell me to leave. You go get a man. In August 2020, many stores had masking requirements in place for both employees and customers including this Walmart in Anchorage, Alaska. You're going to refuse service. Yes. You're refusing my service. Yes. Why don't you say we refuse your service? However, this particular person thought he was above the rules and attempted to enter the store with a naked face. Turn to your service of Satan in your ignorant belief that you are right. That's cool, bye. When he was asked to mask up or leave, the man had a massive meltdown complete with vulgar language, rude hand gestures, and nonsensical ramblings. You have no authority over me! Quit spitting all over people! We really hope the employees who had to deal with this situation got a raise afterward. Oh, I know. Number 8. Fire Aisle 5 
We've heard of fire sales, but this is taking it a little too far. Oh my God. In November 2017, during the wee hours of the morning, when the weirdest things tend to happen, the graveyard shift shoppers in a Cedar Park, Texas store were shocked to see smoke. How did this happen? Oh. That's exactly what investigators are trying to figure out. Two separate fires were set ablaze in the store, one in the jewelry and apparel area and one in the vacuum aisle, and both apparently the results of arson. Thankfully, the Walmart sprinkler system put out most of the flames, and the quick-thinking employees evacuated the store, ensuring no one was injured by the fires. 30 seconds in, I was like, in. I shot the video, and then I was out. Like, I did not want to stay in there. Number 7. Garden Center Wedding Wedding venues can be deeply personal for couples who choose to tie the knot. And for some people, apparently that deeply personal venue is Walmart. Today will be Ella Glass and Caleb Cox. Wedding is taking place here at Walmart. In 2007, the chain had a contest to choose seven couples who could have their weddings in their local store's garden centers completely free of charge on the popular July 7th date. One lucky couple, Ella Glass and Caleb Cox, captured their special day on camera, showing their beautiful ceremony with their loved ones. I can take the Ella to be my husband, to have her to hold. The unusual setting was charming and as idyllic as a Walmart can be, and Ella and Caleb are an absolutely adorable couple. Mazel tov. Number six, ghosts. And the pressure just got thicker. Damn. Few things are spookier than a completely empty Walmart in the middle of the night. But this seemingly sentient balloon making its way through the store definitely amps up the creepiness. If you saw this as you were picking up some midnight cereal, would you use scissors or a Ouija board to stop it? Although this video was revealed to be a fake, it does shine light on other apparently haunted stores, such as a location in Galveston, Texas, that is built on the former site of an orphanage. And a legend goes, mixed with pure fact, there was an orphanage. Okay, it just went off. That is awesome. When the orphanage was destroyed by a hurricane in 1900, more than 100 people perished but they are said to still linger in the aisles of this particular store. You tell me what that is. You tell me that's not paranormal, people. Number five, shampoo aisle fight. This isn't the largest brawl we'll cover on our list, but it's definitely the slipperiest. Are you serious? Do you want it? In 2015, at a Walmart located in Beech Grove, Indiana, two women got downright dirty in the hygiene department. Apparently, the brawl started when one of the customers complained to an associate about the shampoo aisle's layout, prompting another customer to step in. During the fight, one of the women asked her young son to also attack the other woman, which he did. I think that, you know, she should have to go through some sort of parenting classes or something. You cannot engage your child into criminal activity, especially at a young age. Police were called to step in after quite a while, and the mother who asked her young son to step in was charged with child neglect, among other charges. Number 4. Moving Through the Dairy Section This particular incident is what math word problems are made of. You take the head, I'm taking the back. What's the plan, Wes? Forget the plan. In April 2011, a Walmart in Virginia likely saw the most bizarre crime it has ever experienced. An utterly unbelievable crime that will move you to tears of laughter. A man clad in a cow suit somehow managed to snag 26 gallons of milk at once. Duquois and I will merge with the herd here and sneak in through the gate in the electrified fence. As if that weren't strange enough, he then crawled out of the store on all fours in an attempt to mimic cattle and then handed out the stolen milk to people outside of the Walmart. He decided to go in the store and steal 26 gallons of milk. Now that's $92. Uh, you can't do that. The bovine Robin Hood initially managed to escape, but local police later caught him, not still wearing his cow suit, at a McDonald's, and he was charged with shoplifting. Number three, firework blaze. What's crazier than arson in a Walmart? Arson in a Walmart that sets off fireworks inside the store. No worse than arson. It's worse. In June 2016, a Phoenix, Arizona location had an early and terrifying Independence Day surprise thanks to a man who set a fireworks display in the store ablaze. <laughs> 
Of course, the fireworks did what fireworks do, and well, you can imagine how that went. Although the store was evacuated and all the customers and employees thankfully escaped harm, the incident caused millions of dollars of damage. Phoenix police tracked down the suspect three months later, and he was charged with arson. Nice touch setting off the fireworks. You seem to really know your explosives. Number 2. Horsing Around If you've paid close attention so far, you might have noticed that Texas has made more appearances on this list than any other state. Of course, this particular incident pretty much encapsulates the Lone Star State, saddle and all. A low prices, baby. We are low prices, eh? In March 2017, two men moseyed into a Houston, Texas Walmart on horseback to get a candy bar. Apparently, no one stopped the men and their very tall friends from entering the store, so they clopped their ways down the aisles. Facebook. <laughs> Although the horses were very well behaved during the trip, one did relieve itself on the floor of the store. Whoever had to clean that up definitely deserves a raise. <sighs> I don't get paid enough for this. Number 1. Black Friday Brawl Of course, no list about insane occurrences at the ultimate big box chain would be complete without a Black Friday incident. I hate Black Friday. While fights on the day after giving thanks seem to be an annual thing, this particular punch fest took place in 2014. And of course, it was in Texas. Hey, hey, hey! Apparently, their deal on televisions was to die for as customers wrestled each other to the floor in an attempt to get in on the sale. We don't care how good the deal is. There is no excuse for getting so worked up over a sale that police officers have to get involved. TGIF, right guys? With cameras pretty much everywhere these days, all manner of crimes are bound to be caught on them. This includes kidnappings. But for our next video, we're going to take a look at times kidnappers were actually thwarted in their attempts. Take a look dramatic escape from the moving car was all captured on a video camera here at the gas station. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be looking at 10 thwarted kidnapping attempts caught on camera. Police say the man in this surveillance video carjacked this woman early Wednesday morning, claiming to have a weapon. For this list, we'll be considering the most spine-chilling recordings of botched abduction plots. Which of these shocking incidents left you the most terrified? Craig Bonello. For a preteen Florida girl and her mother, this was probably the most terrifying 15 seconds of their entire lives. A brazen kidnapping attack thwarted by a fierce mother, all caught on tape. The whole scene playing out in a Dollar General store Tuesday morning. While shopping at a Dollar General store on June 7, 2016, a man identified as Craig Bonello grabbed the girl by her arm and violently dragged her away. Without missing a beat, the girl's mother sprung into action, fighting off Bonello as he tugged her daughter through the supermarket's aisles, all in full view of surveillance cameras. Her mother doesn't miss a beat. This mom, Ashley Harper, knows exactly what that woman was thinking. There wouldn't have been, I mean, any doubt I would have thrown myself on anybody, you know, and now I guess I have to be prepared to do that. Bonello eventually let go and tried to make a run for it, but he was blocked by an off-duty sheriff's deputy and arrested. Eventually, the man letting go, fleeing the store, only to be met in the parking lot by an off-duty officer. Who was off-duty, had uh, pulled into the parking lot uh, just by chance. He was brought up on charges of kidnapping and child abuse, but was found not guilty by reason of insanity. Nassim Slamang. In September 2020, a video went viral on social media showing the attempted abduction of a child at a restaurant in Johannesburg, South Africa. In the clip, two women are seen sitting together with a young girl at the Bella Napoli Italian kitchen. We were sitting outside and there were other customers here. There was a lady with her two kids and uh, I noticed that there was a guy running. All of a sudden, 24-year-old Nassim Slamang jumps over the railing and lunges toward the child. Slamong's brazen attempt to abduct the young girl in broad daylight was, however, cut short by the restaurant's owner, Dishal Suku. I don't consider myself a hero. People say you're at the right place at the, the right moment. And it all comes with preparation. And I think uh, the years of experience in martial arts is what allowed me to react the way that I did. Suku, a trained martial artist, immediately tackled the culprit to the floor, placing him in a chokehold while one of the women secured the girl. 
Slamong was swiftly arrested by police and charged with multiple counts of assault and attempted kidnapping. The court has heard the suspect has an outstanding warrant of arrest and a string of previous convictions. Timothy Todd Milner. The tremendous efforts of a gas station cashier and customer made the difference between life and death for a woman in Coweta County, Georgia. Deputies call it courageous, the quick actions of this store clerk and a customer at a convenience store off Interstate 85 in Coweta County last Friday. Surveillance footage from the convenience store showed the woman and a man, later identified as Timothy Todd Milner, walk up to the counter. Deputies say she asked the store clerk for a telephone in an attempt to call for help. The woman was reported to have quietly asked the cashier for a phone, but after being handed one, Milner grabbed it from her and threw it on the counter. He then dragged her out of the building and into his truck parked outside. Noticing the ordeal, a stranger quickly took a picture of Milner's license plate, which aided in police locating him. Very brave, very courageous, very helpful. Um, they could have gone about their day and this lady would have been somewhere she didn't want to be with someone she didn't want to be with. Upon his arrest, Milner was charged with kidnapping, false imprisonment, and battery. Nathaniel Rodriguez. Most of us do not know how we would react if we ever came face to face with a dangerous criminal. But Philadelphia convenience store clerk Manveer Comer knew exactly what to do in that situation. At first glance, you might not realize anything's wrong here, but this is an alleged crime in progress. While working the overnight shift on November 11, 2015, Comer stopped the apparent abduction of a doctor by a supposedly armed criminal named Nathaniel Rodriguez. Rodriguez allegedly kidnapped the lady and was attempting to withdraw money using her debit card. He forced her to withdraw money from ATMs around town. Watch as they pull into this gas station and walk into the convenience store. The suspect gives a friendly wave to the clerk before they go to the ATM. Footage from the store's cameras showed Comer leaving the counter and confronting Rodriguez just as the two are about to exit. The suspect then fled the scene in the victim's car, but was later tracked down and arrested after making use of her phone. The clerk confronts the suspect, who you see reach into his jacket as if he has a weapon. The suspect then flees in the woman's car. Back inside, the clerk gives the woman a bottle of water. She's shaken but unharmed. Santiago Salcedo. On October 11, 2021, a woman was walking by a gas station in the Bronx with her three grandchildren when a man approached them. The uh, attempted abduction was captured on surveillance video, which police use to track down the suspects. Partially covered in a blanket, the man suddenly grabbed one of the toddlers and took to his heels. Initially torn between the captured girl and the other two boys left with her, the grandmother eventually chased after the abductor. Her grandmother panicking and screaming for help while chasing him as the girl's younger brother stand by terrified. Other bystanders joined in and they soon cornered the man, later identified as Santiago Salcedo, and he lets go of the child. After riding away on a scooter, police later caught up with Salcedo, who was reported to be homeless, and arrested him. He was arraigned on charges of attempted kidnapping and unlawful imprisonment. There were literally a couple of people who chased a guy and who helped us with the police and everybody. So I would like to take them. And this Bronx mother says that there is not enough thanks in the world that she can show this group of Good Samaritans. Thomas Woods. George Ann Baxter was at a Walmart in Bremen, Georgia with her daughter Brittany when her worst nightmare nearly became a reality. And the video is stunning. A little girl fighting a grown man allegedly trying to kidnap her. Brittany was playing in the toy section by herself when she was grabbed by 25-year-old Thomas Woods. And then he just jumped me and went and ran off. Woods, who had just been released on parole after serving prison time for manslaughter, was captured by surveillance cameras getting into his car and driving away. Police were able to use this footage to track him to his house, where he was arrested in less than an hour. Police arrested 25-year-old Thomas Woods, who was recently released from state prison, out on parole for manslaughter. Although he denied even being at the store, Woods was charged with attempted kidnapping. James McGonigal. It's always particularly shocking when an attempted child abduction not only occurs in broad daylight, but also right in front of their parents. It's quick and say, oh my God, my kids, please. That was the case of Jacob Diaz, who was walking down a Queen street with his mom, Dolores Diaz Lopez, and two siblings. 
Diaz was slightly ahead of the rest when a man jumped out of a parked car and snatched him just a few feet away from Lopez. Dolores Diaz says the men said nothing to her and she doesn't know them. The quick thinking mom and her other kids immediately ran after the man, 24 year old James McConnell, and successfully retrieved Diaz through the front passenger window. McConnell was able to flee the scene in his car, but he was later arrested by police on charges including attempted kidnapping and reckless endangerment. One of them, the driver, has been arrested and was taken to the hospital for a psychiatric evaluation. The other, the passenger, is still outstanding, and police believe the two may be father and son. Manual Towns. It looked like something out of a Hollywood action movie. 25-year-old Brittany Diggs had already been abducted at gunpoint by Manuel Towns, who had repeatedly threatened to kill her. He was like, well, since you don't have any money, um, you're going to help me get money. Towns forced her into the trunk of her car and drove around in hopes of using her debit card to take out cash. This led him to a gas station in Birmingham, where he seemed to have withdrawn money from the convenience store ATM. Brittany says panic was setting in. My biggest fear was he was going to drive this car into a river. I'm going to drown here and nobody's going to know I'm in this trunk. As Towns returned to the car and slowly pulled out of the parking lot, Diggs popped the trunk using the interior latch and bolted into the store. The Alabama nursing student made it to safety and her captor was arrested by police about a week later. A jury convicts Manuel Towns of several charges, including kidnapping, robbery, and two counts of fraudulent use of a credit card. Derek McPherson. The doorbell camera at the Nash family house in Ohio captured the attempted abduction of one of their daughters in 2022. So proud of her. So proud of her because as soon as she screamed, he let go. So obviously, you know, it does work. Kennedy Nash was taking out the trash when a man, identified as Derek McPherson, approached her and grabbed her by the arm. The young girl let out a piercing scream, prompting McPherson to release her and quickly walk past. The whole encounter lasting less than 10 seconds. As Kennedy pulled away and screamed, the man quickly letting go. Kennedy rushed back into the house and relayed the incident to her dad, Ricky, who got in his car and chased down the culprit. He was later taken in by authorities and brought up on charges of abduction and inappropriate grabbing. Ricky's swift chase may have secured McPherson's capture, but it was Kennedy's quick thinking that prevented the tragedy altogether. McPherson appeared in a Butler County courtroom where he has been indicted on two counts of abduction and unlawful restraint. Jared Paul Stenga. This terrifying footage from a street surveillance camera in Florida showed the exact moment young Allison Banal was nearly abducted. This shocking video has been played thousands of times across the country. Banal was waiting at a bus stop on the morning of May 18th, 2021, when a white minivan parked just beside her. The driver of the vehicle, Jared Paul Stanga, was captured running toward Banal and grabbing her as she attempted to scurry away. She fought and she fought and she fought until finally she was able to break free. Stanga, who was reportedly wielding a knife, was unsuccessful as Banal fought tooth and nail to regain her freedom. According to the young girl, she was inspired by Law & Order SVU to rub the blue slime she had been playing with on Stanga's arms. She was playing with blue slime when he grabbed her and she made sure to wipe some of it on him. That trick gave investigators just the evidence they needed. This helped police to definitely identify him as the culprit upon his eventual arrest. It's a question that has been debated for years and years. Do aliens exist? And perhaps more importantly, are they already here with us on Earth? Well, our next batch of caught on camera videos might just sway you into answering yes to both of those questions. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 20 times aliens were caught on camera. There. Does not move? Exactly. For this list, we're looking at the most shocking pieces of alleged extraterrestrial footage. Number 20, Chicken Dance, 2019. You've probably seen this viral clip before of a mysterious alien creature doing an unusual dance in front of a house. I saw what was on the video, which was um, something walking away from my home in my driveway. It was supposedly filmed by a local woman's home security camera covering her car and driveway. We see the creature walk out of the house and, back to the camera, flap its arms around. But what is it? Dobby from Harry Potter? A real-life alien? 
Or was it the woman's son playing a prank on her with a pair of underpants on his head? Everybody laughs and says, there's no such thing as aliens. Oh. And I, I just going around and uh, we need to start an alliance. Though the answer may seem obvious, this clip has plenty of believers, apparently still including the woman who posted it. But her eight-year-old son denied involvement. Number 19, Houston Light Show, 2020. A video from Houston, Texas emerged in 2020 showing strange lights in the sky. They were in an unusual triangular formation and appeared to flash while hovering over the city. Theories ranged from drones to airplanes or missiles. But the woman who filmed the video, Kristen Meyer, dismissed these explanations. I've never seen anything like it. It is so weird. Despite appearing static in the footage, Meyer said that they moved through the sky quite quickly. Ominously, they seemed to vanish. But Houston is no stranger to UFO sightings, thanks to its proximity to a major NASA space center. They're red. But they're like going in weird shapes. Number 18, Viva Las Vegas, 2021. Viva Las Vegas. Lots of people saw lights in the sky over Las Vegas Valley in 2021 flying over the city one evening. There were dozens of them clearly visible above, though it wasn't a clear enough night to see any stars. They also moved across the sky far too quickly. People reported similar sightings across state lines in California, too. I don't think these are airplanes because I've been getting tweets from people who saw the same thing mm -hmm. out in California. Anchors were quick to suggest that they were airplanes flying down from nearby Nellis Air Force Base, but they were heading the wrong direction, east towards Arizona and beyond. Maybe they were on their way back to Roswell. Or maybe, as comments pointed out, they were simply Starlink satellites. Number 17. USS Russell Captures Pyramid, 2004. Pyramids of all varieties are obsessed over by ufologists, whether on the ground or in the sky. These images were released by ufologist Jeremy Corbell and later confirmed to be genuine footage of alleged UFOs by the Pentagon recorded by naval personnel. The U.S. government has investigated UFOs many times over the years, and more than once it's found things that it just can't explain. These clips belong to that category, as we see the pyramid-shaped ship pulsating in the air. In night vision video from a Navy destroyer, a mysterious flying triangle above the deck of the ship. Naysayers have said the anomaly is actually just a plane. I recently asked uh, the former director of uh, the Advanced Aerial Threat Identification Program at the Pentagon, point blank, are those the only videos that the government has? He said no, those were probably the least compelling videos. Number 16, San Diego Coastal Madness, 2019. This clip was also released by Corbell and another encounter recorded by the U.S. Navy, this time personnel aboard the USS Omaha. They were stationed off the coast of San Diego, California at the time. Many other UFOs have also been spotted by the Navy much like these, with pilots even going on record with journalists to describe what they've seen. Former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Intelligence Chris Mellon says sensor technology has improved dramatically over the years, but pilots have reported seeing some of the same things for decades. They say encounters happen regularly and dispute claims from non-witnesses that the UFO footage just shows fighter jet engines that look odd on camera. We've sort of said, hey man, if I saw this solo, I don't know that I would have come back and said anything because it sounds so crazy when I say it. Number 15, UFO in Jerusalem, 2011. Temple Mount in Jerusalem is one of the holiest places in the world, home to the famous Dome of the Rock Islamic Shrine. If aliens were going to go anywhere on Earth, it does make a little sense that they'd be interested in one of the most important places to humankind's largest religions. A UFO in the form of a bright light is seen descending over the dome of the rock in Jerusalem. The video is said to be taken over the weekend. Uh, then suddenly the light shoots up into the sky. A strange light was filmed apparently descending to the dome of the rock's roof and then shooting back up into the sky again. Maybe the aliens thought they'd already seen all there is to see here and immediately left. The clip, of course, has many people saying it's likely a hoax, but nobody's ever owned up to it. 
Number 14. The Dudley Dorito, 2009. This UFO has been seen many times over the UK. What are you doing? Don't. Called the Dudley Dorito because of its triangular shape, the footage is disturbing to say the least. A black triangular craft is clearly seen floating in the sky with lights on the bottom. Stranger yet, the Dorito has been seen many times, usually only around the Midlands in England. It seems to reappear regularly, with newspapers on the lookout for anybody with a story to tell about witnessing it. What it really is, we don't know. It was apparently deathly silent as it flew and looked like nothing on Earth. Its silence is what makes it so intriguing, as even the weirdest airplanes out there will still make noise. Whilst other experts are skeptical about the footage, some questioning its authenticity. Number 13. Hawaii's New Year's Eve UFO, 2020. There were multiple witnesses to this UFO incident, as a bright blue object was spotted in the skies over Oahu, Hawaii on New Year's Eve 2020. video was captured, and the object really did look bright blue, almost as if it was glowing. Some were so intrigued by what they were seeing that they even got into their cars to follow it as it flew. And then, shockingly, it disappeared, not up into space, but into the sea. What is that? Water. Most of the planet is covered in it. He won't survive in water. His molecular density is too great. Ah. No. Was it hiding under the waves, or did it crash? When the Federal Aviation Administration was notified, there were no aircraft in the sky that could have been responsible. Number 12, Go Fast, 2015. Yet another Corbell special, the Go Fast video was also filmed by the Navy and eventually released to the public. It was shot in 2015 by a naval jet pilot, this time all the way on the other side of the country, off the coast of Florida. But what exactly does the video show? The object was spotted by pilots as it flew over the sea, and you can even hear their reaction to seeing it as they try to get the camera's motion sensor to lock in on it. It's strange to see pilots react so strongly to something. If even trained airmen can't identify these things, maybe they really are from another world. There's a whole fleet of them, look on the ASA. Oh my gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Number 11, the Phoenix Lights, 1997. This remains one of the most confounding and famous UFO sightings in history. On March 13, 1997, Arizona residents witnessed the Phoenix Lights phenomenon, seen for hundreds of miles across the entire state. People across Arizona, especially here in the valley, reported seeing a silent, miles-long V-shaped group of lights gliding quietly overhead. There were many witnesses, and the lights were caught on camera, but to this day, they remain shrouded in mystery. It's thought by some that they were a top-secret government training program, and that remains the official line, but there are plenty who don't believe it, especially when similar encounters have happened in the years since. Today, the Phoenix Lights are still a major part of Arizona culture and modern history. The questions and confusion over the sighting have only grown during the prevailing years. Number 10. Fresno Nightcrawler, 2010. Whether they're aliens, cryptids, or a hoax, these creatures are downright creepy. I, I don't know what it is, but it's not like any of the other cryptoids or Bigfoot or anything else we've seen before. They were first spotted by a man named Jose on his front lawn in Fresno, California, who captured this footage on CCTV. They're reportedly pale, slender, and walk as though they're crawling. Oh my what god! What is he one. doing? Since the first Fresno sighting, other people have claimed to witness the same creature in the area. Could aliens look like a pair of pants? Hey, who are we to say? Anatomically speaking, I've never seen anything that looks like either of these figures before. Number 9. North Carolina's Critter, 2019. North Carolina's candid critter social media management got a tad more than they bargained for when they posted a picture of an entity caught on one of their nighttime trail cameras with the invitation to guess the critter. Also, really important, whatever you do, don't look into its eyes. I, I did look at it, Rick. I've been looking at it. The group was a camera trap survey that took place in the North Carolina woodland and rural areas with the intention to capture wildlife and natural events. But this particular shot stumped them 
as it was unlike anything they'd ever seen before. His eyes look a little cloudy. Thingy. Oh, those are your eyes. <laughs> Whilst skeptics were quick to point out that it was probably an owl or something, the group wasn't totally convinced, which is intriguing in its own right. Whatever it is, the truth is out there. Mulder, the truth is out there. But so are lies. Number eight, the Red Gate Alien, 2021. Over in Montana, another trail camera captured a candid photo of a creature that appears to be out of this world, and certainly out of its clothes. Ghost-like figure that he captured brought him national attention from paranormal investigators. The Red Gate area has garnered a reputation in recent years for being somewhat of a UFO and alien sighting hotspot. Montanans have been seeing these strange things for years. In fact, Montana ranks in the top five of most UFO sightings per capita. Many witnesses claim to have seen unidentified flying objects in the air. But it's a photo taken by Deer Lodge's Donald Bromley that has garnered a lot of debate. There's just a lot of activity that is unexplained to this day. They just caught this thing. At first view, it simply looks like a person walking past, but it could be argued that the proportions are off. Humanoid, but not human. Perhaps if more people set up trail cameras in Redgate, we might get an even better look at them aliens. Number seven, the Kennel Vell figure, 2019. When it comes to paranormal and extraterrestrial investigations, sometimes there's a bit of overlap. In 2019, ghost hunter Mark Davies and his friends visited Kennel Vale in Cornwall, southwest England. Their camera picked up a strange silhouette moving along the bridge ahead of them. Everybody's so afraid of their own goddamn shadow. Davies claims that the air got cold and his back started to hurt. He insists that the video isn't a hoax, but instead depicts what some call aliens, others demons, and others watchers. You have to pick one. I can't. I love them all. However, he believes that the figure was evil, so don't go rushing off to explore Kennel Vale at night. Number 6. The Glasgow Glower, 2021. This time, there are two entries for the price of one. It could be that these two sightings are depicting the same general phenomena given their shared location and similar time frame. But it's hard to tell as the descriptions have discrepancies. That's not the same thing. It is the same thing. The first, taken by a Glasgow student, shows a strange glow over the night skies. Around that same time of year, a local Glasgow woman caught a static, almost humanoid shape flying across the skies of the Scottish city. It's literally a UFO because <laughs> it's unidentified. As it was taken during the day, the light is good enough to get a clear image. There are numerous differences in the shape and behavior, but the timing and the location are suspicious, to say the least. Data, what the hell is it? Number 5. Jarkun's Roadside Visitor, 2021 2021 seems to be the year of off-world visitors. We can only assume that with so many people remaining in their homes, extraterrestrials didn't have to worry about being spotted. Where are we grabbing? We're going to the food court at the mall. Oh, the mall? No, no, I, I can't go dressed like this. Clearly one or two of them slipped through, however, as this footage from the Indian state of Jharkhand appears to show. It is difficult to see if the video is doctored or simply a prank played by someone. Not only is it a clear view of a creature walking very incongruously alongside of a road, it appears taller and thinner than the average person. He combines the ancient evil of Cthulhu with the dream physique of Slenderman. The footage also shows that there were multiple witnesses to the event so it would be more difficult to debunk should many come forward and corroborate the story. Number 4. The Sulphured Grey, 2015 We're back in the United Kingdom for this entry, which is unsurprising given that the county of Yorkshire has reportedly seen over 200 alien and UFO sightings in the last 20 years. But while there isn't a lot of footage that's readily available, just a few miles away in Salford, there is quite the compelling video of a grey alien wandering around. Greys tend to be the ones that most people think of when they think of aliens, and are often what alleged abductees describe after they've been returned. Alternatively, just think of Paul from the movie of the same name if you need a visual reference. Are you going to probe us? Why does everyone always assume that? What am I doing? Am I harvesting farts? How much can I learn from an ass? Well, I, I, what? Whether this footage is a hoax or the real deal, it's always fun to speculate. Number 3. A Turning Point for Turkey, 2007 for Yalchen Yalman, aliens and UFOs are all in a day's work. Though he doesn't work for Area 51 or the Men in Black, the Turkish night watchman is so used to extraterrestrial encounters that they don't phase him. Die, you alien shithead! Uh -oh. I surrender! 
There are two facts about his sightings that make them stand out. First, his footage spans years of repeated visitations. Second, some of his footage, you can just make out two pilots inside the craft. This night watchman doesn't just look for intruders, but aliens as well. It's a bird! It's a plane! Just kidding, it's a plane! Number 2. The Crashed Visitor, 2011. This entry is not for the faint of heart, so fair warning. The damn alien autopsy that's stealing all the headlines. Yeah, tell me about it. In 2011, footage emerged that alleged to be the aftermath of a UFO crash in Siberia. The people in the video claim to have found an alien creature that has been caught up in the wreckage and lost its life in the process. However, not long after, it was reported that the people in the video had faked the alien body with chicken pieces and breadcrumbs and received a stern word from the Russian authorities. But doesn't this hoax look a little bit too good for tomfoolery? And does it really look like chicken and breadcrumbs? We're not saying there's a conspiracy within the conspiracy, but we're not saying that it's not either. There's a conspiracy here. A dark, vast conspiracy that may just go all the way to the top. Number 1. The Peekaboo Alien, 2008 While the person who shot and released this footage doesn't deserve the publicity, and thus his name will not even be mentioned here, the Boo Alien footage has generated too much debate to omit. Oh man, what is that? <laughs> released in 2008, it appears to show an alien engaging in a quick game of Peekaboo. And although it isn't completely clear in the video, the image does appear to be that of a previously mentioned gray alien. There are other videos like it, created in an attempt to parody and debunk the original, but still the Boo Alien persists and cannot seem to be thoroughly let go of as a fake. You're insane. So you prefer the original thing? Okay, switching back now to humans caught on camera, because we're about to take a look at some surprising and okay, I'll say it, funny moments where would-be robbers completely failed. Okay, everybody, come close to your TV screen and check out this fool down in Georgia. Welcome to Watch Mojo, And today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 robbery fails caught on camera. If this were to happen again, you would not hesitate. No. Your message to the bad guys? This isn't a good place to pick. <laughs> For this list, we'll be looking at the most ridiculous robbery attempts that were captured on tape. Have you ever witnessed a botched holdup? Number 20. Tables turn for a masked arm robber. If you're going to rob a place with a handgun, you'd probably want to keep your weapon on you at all times. In 2019, a young man later identified as Corey T. Phillips learned this the hard way when he held up the Country Inn and Suites in Paducah, Kentucky at gunpoint. Surveillance cameras captured Phillips demanding money from the woman at the counter. After getting his wish, the criminal places his gun on the slab to gather the wads of cash thrown at him. Faced with the perfect opportunity to turn things around, the receptionist picks up the gun and points it at her attacker. It's surreal that something life-threatening that has changed me, you know, it's, it's, un, it's just unreal. The now defenseless Phillips promptly flees the scene, but is later arrested by the authorities. Number 19. Venti Beatdown – Extra Hot When you think of the most terrifying disguises in history, an Optimus Prime mask may not be the first thing that comes to mind. That is, unless you're Ryan Flores, a would-be robber at a Starbucks in Fresno, California, armed with a knife and a gun. The cashier says Flores told her to give him all her money. He said he didn't want to hurt her and he was doing it for his kids. The blade may be real, but the gun fortunately isn't. As Flores approaches the counter, a heroic customer foils his plans by attacking him from behind with a metal chair. The two get into a struggle, during which they both sustain multiple stab wounds. Although Flores manages to escape from the facility, it doesn't take too long for police to track him down and place him under arrest. It's not something we recommend in this case. It was a good outcome. Um, no one died as a result of this incident. Number 18. Housebreakers Caught in the Act For Massachusetts homeowner Damien Gerard, it was a case of once bitten, twice shy. After being the victim of a robbery years prior, Gerard installed security cameras in his house to thwart any further attempts. 
In April 2016, two alleged burglars broke into Gerard's home while he was at work, triggering his security alert system. You can hear the sound of glass smashing as a burglar makes his way through the back door. Then he lets his buddy in through the front. Both of them quickly case the place. The graphic designer was able to stream live footage of the suspects making their way through his home and even stopping to offer his dog a treat. Gerard immediately called the authorities as he ran towards his house. Emergency. My house is being robbed by two individuals. Please get somebody there right away. Police arrested one of the suspects inside the building, while the other was chased down by the officers and Gerard after jumping out a window. Number 17. Brazilian store owner fatally wounds robbers. A 2017 attempted robbery by two assailants at a convenience store in Goiás, Brazil, soon became the wild, wild west. Footage from surveillance cameras show the two men walk into the establishment seemingly as innocent customers. So what we see here is these guys are just acting cool. I mean, the guy with the helmet on is a little bit sketchy. And you can see the guy in the green shirts looking around. He's giving those pre-attack indicators. Things take a turn for the worse, however when one of them brandishes his weapon and threatens an unsuspecting patron with it. The owner quickly draws out his gun and shoots at the robbers, who return fire as they run out of the store. Bad guy number one with the gun emptied all the beans in the wheel and then he runs off. The two suspects sustained severe injuries in the process, which they reportedly succumbed to. Although the owner surrendered to the police, he was later released on the grounds of self-defense. Number 16. Indian Bank Robbery CCTV footage at a State Bank of India branch showed the terrifying moment a gang of armed robbers stormed the premises. In that instance, what was presumably a slow day at work for the security guard swiftly became one of his most arduous challenges. It's not exactly clear how many there are, but the assailants, armed with knives and guns, quickly populate the place and subdue any opposition. However, there is clearly a lack of organization, as they seem to move around aimlessly without actually doing much. Eventually, one of the men surfaces with what looks like a small bag of cash, and they all exit. We can't say for sure, but it seems like a tiny payday for such a big risk. Number 15. Locked Inside a Convenience Store Many armed robbers are lucky to meet store clerks who hand over valuables without much of a hassle. However, that was not the case for these two assailants, who attempted to hold up a convenience store in Calgary, Canada. Just before 5 a.m. on August 17, 2017, the pair barged into the shop armed with a pickaxe and tire iron. The brave clerk on duty put up a fight, single-handedly tackling both robbers. At some point, he manages to run out and locks the criminals inside. It takes a while for the robbers to realize that it's a glass door they can easily break, but by then, the cops are already on the way. Number 14. Mexican Cowboy Thwarts Armed Robbery You might want to take a quick look at the people in a store before brandishing a gun and attempting to rob them. That was the lesson this seemingly fearless assailant learned when he strolled up to the cash register and whipped out his gun. Standing in front of the register is a man in a cowboy hat who seems to be waiting for just the right moment. Once the robber gets a little distracted, the man lunges forward and tackles him, throwing his gun to the floor. The weapon is quickly picked up by another employee. Now shirtless, the assailant bolts for the door, but his escape is dramatically cut short by one of the staffers. Number 13. Sledgehammer Bank Robbery Banks typically go the extra mile to ensure that the money entrusted in their hands is kept safe. But sometimes, not even bulletproof glass can get in the way of the most determined criminals. This CCTV footage shows the moment a man attempted a smash-and-grab raid at a Chinese bank with a sledgehammer. Take this guy, for example. After realizing that the bank is outfitted with security glass, he decides to take a sledgehammer to it. The strong material gives him a tough time, but he's eventually able to crack a large enough hole to squeeze through. However, by the time he's in, he discovers that he can't even access the money. Even worse, he's now surrounded by a group of citizens willing to mete out justice. It wasn't long after people living nearby began to arrive to investigate the commotion. We can only wonder how far that determination took him. Number 12. Armed criminal is trapped in store. 
There's probably no better representation of the five stages of grief than this surveillance camera footage from a cell phone store in Houston, Texas. On April 17, 2017, an armed man identified as John Bell calmly walked in and demanded cash from an employee. Hey! Open this. Open this. Open it. Open it now. No, no, no. Open it. After refusing to open the register, the lady rushed out alongside two customers and locked Bell inside. Once he realizes he's trapped, the young man does everything thinkable to regain his freedom. He shoots the lock and tries kicking down the door, all to no avail. He then resorts to begging and praying, but even the supernatural beings seem to want nothing to do with the case. Eventually, the police arrive and whisk him away. Number 11. Meet Cleaver Bank Robbery You have to be extremely ridiculous for the person you're robbing to find you amusing. That was exactly the case in this 2014 attempted robbery at a China construction bank in Shanghai. The would-be criminal casually walks up to the teller and presses a meat cleaver to the plexiglass. Both the customer and the lady at the register can't seem to believe what they're looking at. And we're not even sure this man believes in himself either. The stick-up is pretty much over before it can even begin. Just as the teller breaks down in laughter, the robber is easily subdued by the security guards. Number 10. Georgia Gun Store Owner Fends Off Robbers even though you're armed, it's probably not the smartest idea to attempt robbing a store filled with weapons. It's just amazing to see somebody try to come into a gun store to rob a gun store. These two suspects certainly proved that not all criminals are smart when they stormed the Dixie Gun and Pawn Shop in Mableton, Georgia. They first aim at one employee who quickly raises his hands in the air. But as soon as store owner Jimmy Groover realizes what's happening, he draws out his own gun and fires at the suspects. One of them is immediately floored by the bullets and is reported to have passed away on the spot. The other is lucky enough to escape just as the establishment fills up with smoke from the gunshots. The owner and an employee along with two customers were inside the store at the time they gave statements on the scene. Later, the owner went to police HQ but was not charged. Most believe that's the way it should be. I'm just glad he's alive, and he is too, I'm sure. Number 9. Liquor Store Clerk Draws Faster A would-be armed robber was in for a big surprise when he decided to steal from a liquor store in Marionville, Missouri. He was working a typical shift Sunday night when things got interesting. A gentleman could come in the... Uh the door there, smoking a cigarette, and I asked him to take a cigarette back outside. A war veteran and former prison guard John Lewis Alexander was working the cash register that day when the suspect entered the shop while smoking his cigarette. After reportedly telling him to put it out, Alexander has a gun pulled on him. Without even missing a beat, the ex-military man hits the weapon back, draws out his own handgun, and points it directly in the criminal's face. From the time the man walked through the door, Alexander says the whole exchange was only about 11 seconds. You never know exactly what to do, you just hope you do the right thing. Needless to say, the robber quickly accepts defeat and backs out of the store. Number 8. Father and son join forces against thief. These two assailants clearly entered the wrong store in their attempt at making a quick cash grab. The incident occurred on July 18, 2017 at the Zcom cell phone store in Arlington, Texas. My son jumped in, I just followed him. If something going to happen, going to happen for both of us. We don't want anybody to go just easily take away from us. Hit him like this, the gun that fell down. The shop, which was manned by owner Huru Manga and his son, received two unwanted guests that day. One of the would-be robbers pulls out his gun and jumps over the counter, but his efforts are foiled by Manga's son and later by Manga himself, as the two quickly tackle him to the ground. Although the second suspect also pulls out his gun, thankfully, he never fires it before running out of the store. Despite trying to hold one of them inside, both robbers manage to get away. Number 7. Knife Insecurity it was a clash of knives for this assailant and a convenience store clerk. 
Surveillance cameras in the shop captured the moment a man in a blue hoodie walks up to the register, presumably posing as a regular customer. That facade soon comes off as the robber brandishes a knife and demands money from the store clerk. Things seem to be working out for him. That is until the lady whips out an even bigger knife that makes his look like a letter opener. It doesn't take too long for the man to make a run for the door after realizing that he may have bitten off a little more than he could chew. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Shit. Number 6. Karachi Bank Robbery a banking hall in Karachi, Pakistan became the location of one very daunting robbery. The assailant calmly walks up to the teller as if intending to deposit some money, but on closer look, you can't help but notice something suspicious about him. Once he takes out his gun and starts fumbling with it, everyone else quickly clears out the hall. The ambitious robber is left alone, faced with sturdy security glass that he eventually manages to pull down. However, as he jumps over the counter to grab the cash, he forgets his gun, only realizing his mistake after running off without it. Say what you want about this guy, but at least he seems to have pulled off his heist. Number 5. California Store Owner Flips the Script Only stupid prizes await those who decide to play stupid games. That lesson was certainly learnt by this would-be thief who attempted to rob a liquor store in Norco, California. After noticing a suspicious vehicle pull into his establishment, Craig Cope, the 80-year-old owner, was prepared for the worst. There wasn't much time to think about it. It was just uh, the guy pointed the gun directly at me, and then it's him or me. You acted right away. Frankly, if it had been me, I, I'd, I'd probably be dead. I wouldn't know what to do. I'd freeze, but you knew. I, yeah, I am not going to give him the chance. I mean, if I recognize the weapon, that's a semi-automatic gun, Fast as you can pull the trigger, maybe someone convert it to automatic, it's equivalent of a machine gun. I'm not going to let him get the first shot off at that point. The assailant barges in with an assault rifle pointed right at Cope, who is standing behind the counter. He barely gets his words out before the elderly man fires at him, landing a shot in his arm. Surveillance cameras show the robber running out of the store and into a getaway car filled with other accomplices. The four suspects were later found at a hospital and arrested. Number 4. Breaking Down the Wrong Wall In order to execute the perfect heist, you'd need to do a lot of planning. Not only that, you also have to ensure that your plans are accurate and as airtight as possible, or you stand the risk of ending up like these guys. Raymond Betson, behind bars again for his part in what could have been a most audacious raid. A cash depot in Swanley. Their idea seemed pretty simple. Using a bulldozer, they'd break down the wall behind a cash depot and make off with an incredibly large amount. But as simple as it seemed, these criminals executed their plan only to realize that they had broken down the wrong wall. But when Betson and his masked gang armed with baseball bats tried to ram-raid the Loomis UK depot on Mark Way in the dead of night, they smashed their way into the wrong wall. What they found, instead of millions of pounds in a cash vault, was an empty loading bay. It's not quite clear what happened in the end, but they probably should have checked a map a few more times before putting things in motion. Number 3. Robber uses clear plastic bag as a disguise It should go without saying that an effective disguise is of the utmost importance when attempting to stick up a place. Sadly, it seems someone wasn't paying attention in robbery school. The perp in question was 22-year-old Carrie Hammond, who broke into a GameStop in St. Mary's, Georgia, and robbed the store. He tried to rob a GameStop store wearing a plastic bag, but not just any plastic bag. As his well-thought-out disguise, Hammond put on a transparent plastic bottle bag in hopes that it would conceal his identity. Pretty sure we don't need to tell you how terribly that ended. One thing is for sure, this was not the plastic bag for smart water. <laughs> our, our producer wrote that joke. That's a good one. But here's the thing, like he had it over his head, but he left <laughs> the whole face open so he could breathe. Like, what is wrong with you? Even the local police department found it really funny. They uploaded the surveillance video to Facebook, writing in their caption, you can help us catch him. 
once you stop laughing. Number 2. Pull to Open Admittedly, many of us have been in this situation before, but it's a much different ball game when you're robbing a bank. The suspect struts up to the teller and seemingly hands them a demand note, but the security system is immediately triggered and the screen flies up. As his plan is foiled, the man sprints for the exit but doesn't seem to realize it's a pull, don't push door. Believing he's now trapped, he accepts defeat and waits for the police. It takes an elderly lady to enter the bank for the robber to realize his mistake. It's so ridiculous that if we didn't know any better, we'd think it was an ad for a door manufacturer. Number 1. Axeman This one certainly starts out quite terrifying before devolving into absolute ridiculousness. A man walks into a local savings bank in the district of Baudi in Chongjin, China. Once in, he dons a mask, immediately striking terror in the hearts of the two female tellers. The guy goes to town on the thick pane of security glass, hitting it countlessly with an axe. Eventually, he manages to crawl through and secures some cash for himself, but anyone watching can tell that time is running out. Just as he's about to make his getaway, he's caught by police with one leg out. It's a pretty daring act, but when it comes to robberies, the words slow and fail usually go hand in hand. Okay, apologies to anyone who wanted to sleep tonight because we are going to continue with more scary caught on camera videos. Only this time it comes to us from live news broadcasts. Check out the creepy stuff these cameras caught. We interrupt this program for the zombie apocalypse. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 scariest things caught on live TV news. I'm okay, yeah, you know, that's live TV for you. It's all good. I actually got hit by a car in college too, just like that. For this list, we'll be looking at news moments that freaked out presenters and viewers, whether because of dangerous situations, frightening interactions, or spooky, hard to explain occurrences. Would these moments have made you jump? Number 20, Alligator Freakout. So this, 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 this is an American alligator, and yes, I have taped his face for your safety. I appreciate that. Sometimes you have to wonder how journalists get talked into holding animals on live TV. Is that okay. scotch tape? It, you give me an alligator scotch it, tape? I got it off your desk. No, nope. it's <laughs> like a hold this alligator? Wait, right, yes. No, wrong. Have, no, no, they have no opening pressure. All their pressure's That's coming down. That's scotch tape. Right, I'll take it off. Here. No, no, you ain't gonna take it off. <laughs> Boston sport anchor Steve Burton was handling an alligator, and you can tell he's a little nervous. Then he makes the unfortunate mistake of getting it too close to the other reptile in the room. The four-legged guests clearly had some kind of argument before the newscast because the proximity got them all riled up. Let's stay over here by Joni. Do they know each? Do they no, hold him tight. Hold I, him tight. Hold I, him tight. I am. I am. Hold him tight. I am. I am. Right, I am. You got him. <laughs> I am. As the alligator tried to squirm out of Burton's grasp, everyone around must have been picturing those sharp teeth taking a bite. Luckily, the handlers quickly got the situation under control. Burton still looked a little out of sorts, but the handlers clearly thought it was pretty funny. Number 19. Bugged This incident was scarier for the reporter in question than the viewing audience. However, most of us can understand the primal fear inspired by something big flying at your face. Oh, 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 oh. what is that? That's because it's hot outside. Stuff like that happens. Did, was that live? Are we live? Oh, brother. Fox TV reporter Brad Wills was ready to report from the beach when a giant bug came straight for his head. He screamed in terror and smacked it away. After a quick recovery, Wills finally thought to ask his cameraman if the feed was live. It definitely was, and everyone got to enjoy the blooper at home. Number 18. Far-right rage Disagreements between political parties are to be expected. However, this debate came to blows. When Greek politician Rena Duru from the Coalition of the Radical Left said that Ilias Kassidiaras' neo-Nazi party would take the country back centuries, he decided to prove her point. He threw water in Duru's face, and when Communist Party member Liana Canelli hit him with a newspaper, he slapped her three times in the face. 
Castidiares was restrained in a room backstage, but broke through the door and left before police arrived. You don't have to speak Greek to understand that. We should have told you how disturbing that video actually is. He's currently in prison for directing a criminal organization implicated in violence against anti-fascists, activists, and immigrants. Number 17. Mugged on Air Although journalists know better than anyone that crime can happen at any time, this incident was disturbing for both reporter and audience alike. CNN's Bruna Macedo was on the scene in Sao Paulo, Brazil, to report on rising river levels. Early in the report, a man can be seen watching her from a bridge in the background. Later in the broadcast, Macedo was approached by the menacing figure. While the studio co-host continues to talk, the assailant confronts the surprised reporter. Although not clearly visible on camera, the mugger threatened her with a knife until she handed him two cell phones. The thief then fled. Thankfully, nobody was injured. Number 16. A Close Call Haunted dolls are really only scary if you believe in ghosts. However, there's no denying the terror a moving vehicle can inspire. In 2016, the viewers of KTVU News feared for the life of reporter Alex Savage. He was facing the camera with his back to the street. Viewers watched in fear as a bumped car veered directly towards the reporter. It's a chaotic and confusing situation. For Luckily, the photographer on the scene warned Savage just in time. They both jumped out of the way as the car smashed into the camera. While staring at a lone hubcap on the street, viewers must have been relieved to finally hear someone call out that everyone was okay. Yep, everybody's all right. Alex just got out of the way. Woo. Yeah, we're okay, everybody's okay. Number 15, lightning strike. We've all heard that it's dangerous to be at the highest point in the area when lightning strikes. So standing on a roof to do a storm weather report seems like a bad idea. Regardless, that's where Dave Malkoff was for this broadcast. In the middle of his sentence, a large blue flash could be seen overhead. The deafening thunderclap that accompanied it was almost instantaneous, and the fear in the reporter's face was clear as day. And look at that! That was right on top of me. Uh, maybe we want to get inside. Uh, we'll talk to you guys in just a bit. Later, he explained that he could see a column of lightning dissipating, and that the strike was directly above him. Realizing this, he made the wise decision to get off the roof and into a safer location. When thunder roars, get indoors. You do not want to be directly underneath a thunderstorm with lightning on top of you. That's one of the most dangerous places you can possibly be. Number 14, a shaken news station. News teams are used to calmly covering natural disasters as they happen. We're coming on the air to update you on a major earthquake that has rocked central Mexico. It becomes more difficult when the catastrophe is wreaking havoc around you, though. In 2017, a Mexican news station was in the middle of a live broadcast when a 7.1 earthquake struck. The whole set started to shake. Ustedes ya saben qué es lo que tienen que hacer en este momento. Conservar la calma y evacuar de inmediato. Me voy a levantar y voy a evacuar. The hosts calmly told the viewers to follow safety protocols as the station began to fall apart around him. Blurred shots from live cameras outside revealed the intensity of the quake. Meanwhile, inside the studio, overhead lighting began swinging wildly. It was a terrifying incident for both the news team and the viewers at home. Number 13, out of control guests. This is the moment two journalists taking part in a TV debate in Jordan became so angry with each other they wrecked the studio. All you have to do is watch the panicked face of presenter Zuhair al Ada to see that something is about to go wrong. During a live debate about the Syrian civil war on the Jordanian show between opposing opinions, emotions got the better of journalists Shakir al Johari and Mohammed al Jayousi. Al Jayousi accused Al Johari of supporting the revolution, while Al Johari accused Al Jayousi of supporting the government. As they lunged at each other, they shoved the desk back and forth until it completely came apart. Al Adha was powerless to stop them, and the production team had to jump in to separate them. 
Number 12. World Series Earthquake On October 17, 1989, during the live broadcast of the World Series, people watching at home suddenly saw their TV sets flicker. There were panicked voices, and suddenly the broadcast cut. Second base, so the Oakland A's take... Take... I'll tell you what, we're having an earthquake. As audio returned, viewers could hear people shouting in the stands. The event was of course even scarier for people who were there in the ballpark. <laughs> I don't know if we're on the air. At that moment, the Loma Prieta earthquake had struck California's central coast, causing damage in both Oakland and San Francisco. While those in the ballpark were okay, the quake left 63 people dead and 3,757 people injured in the area. Number 11. Freaky Doll Is there anything scarier than a creepy doll? Hey Chucky, you're not watching me. Hey! Wanna play? In 2017, the viewers of a British morning show had a real-life experience with one. The guests claimed a doll was haunting their family and even scratched the husband while they slept. During the segment, the object in question was sitting on a rocking chair on the set. As the show hosts were discussing the incidents with the owners, the chair began to slowly rock. Uh, Gaynor Green says, my nan has a collection of dolls in her dining room. They're so creepy. Uh, they look as if they're just waiting to pounce. There were many tweets from audience members and people freaking out about the seemingly paranormal occurrence. The hosts didn't seem convinced that the haunted doll was actually spooky, but there's definitely something creepy happening in this footage. You don't believe this. Well, I'm, I'm not, I don't believe in things being haunted. Number 10, bouncing back. Reporter Tori Yorgi probably wasn't expecting an exciting evening when she went to report on a water main break in West Virginia. Then she got hit by a car on live TV. Just got hit by a car, but I'm well, okay, Tim. That's the first um, for you on okay. TV, Tori. Woo! We're all good. Viewers could clearly see the vehicle coming up behind her as she reported on the flooding. As Yorgi falls out of sight, there's one brief horrifying moment when no one is sure if she's seriously hurt. However, the cheerful reporter quickly bounces back into the scene. My whole life just flashed before my eyes. Oh, but this happen. is live TV and everything's okay. After announcing that she just got hit by a car, she blows it all off with a laugh. You stand there waiting for your shot to go on air for a few minutes at least. And of course, right as I'm about to talk, you know, it happens. And it just was amazing that it like got so in the frame. Number nine, a bolt of adrenaline. During a monsoon in Phoenix, weatherman Matt Roadwald had a shockingly close call. The entire area where he was reporting was flooded. Cars were getting stuck in the roadways. The journalist was getting ready to report on the dangerous situation when a bolt of lightning struck behind him. It lights up the entire sky, and the bolt is startlingly clear. After initially moving to assess the situation, Roadwald quickly jumps back in front of the camera with a nervous laugh. Although the lightning missed the quick-footed journalist, it did take out power in the area. And probably about two minutes before we hit the air, a very strong lightning strike, probably about a half a, half a mile from where we are, knocked out the lights on the street. Very nerve-wracking for sure. Number 8. Strange Skylights when anchors at a Milwaukee news station cut to an outdoor camera in the early hours of February 27, 2018, they got a much stranger scenic view than they were expecting. Are those fireworks? What is that? Like fireworks or something. Aliens? Multiple streaks of white light could be seen moving quickly across the dark morning sky. The anchors' first thoughts were that it could be fireworks or maybe aliens. At first, their tone is light, but you can hear a growing concern as the phenomenon continues with little obvious explanation. You see it, right? I'm actually, uh, yes, okay. I do see it. Okay. We're, it's we're, getting we're, weirder by the second. I know. It's like um, they're sticking around. We're going to do some Anybody? digging and figure out what that is back in a moment. Later, the news station reported that it was a flock of seagulls reflecting early light in a long exposure camera shot. Although this seems like a logical explanation, many viewers were still skeptical. Number 7. Zombie Apocalypse We're stretching our criteria for this one, as it came during a tabloid talk show, The Steve Wilco Show. In 2013, viewers of local Montana station KRTV heard an unbelievable and terrifying announcement. 
The show was interrupted by an emergency broadcast warning of the zombie apocalypse. Civil authorities in your area have reported that the bodies of the dead are rising from their graves and attacking the living. They were told in a calm, authoritative voice that dead bodies were rising from graves and attacking the living. The serious nature of the report had viewers worried. Many called into local police stations. It was later discovered that the news station's emergency alert system was hacked, and the whole incident was a hoax. The station, as you can imagine, is saying it's trying to find out how this happened. Oh, I can't wait to see as this story continues to develop, John. How crazy is that? I think I would have called too. Most residents probably knew that it wasn't real, but we're guessing that they chose to stay inside for a while just to be safe. Number 6. Helicopter Havoc in 2004, footage of an out-of-control helicopter stunned viewers. We're following breaking news in Brooklyn, and you're about to see dramatic pictures of a helicopter crash. The scene was like something out of a movie, not a real-life event. While covering an incident in Brooklyn, the aircraft started to spin and spew smoke. It clipped the edge of a building, taking chunks off the structure. The chopper belonging to TV station WNBC losing control, as you can see, hitting a building and crashing on a rooftop in East Flatbush. The tail of the vehicle broke off and the cabin crashed into the roof of an apartment complex. Whether watching on TV or from the streets below, viewers were shocked that the pilots and reporter on board suffered only minor injuries. Number 5. Frightening In-Flight Video Not long after JetBlue Flight 292 made it into the air, the pilots realized that they had a serious problem. The plane's landing gear was off kilter and wouldn't retract. Ultimately, they decided to land at LAX, but first had to burn as much fuel as possible to make the emergency landing safer. Unclear as to what they might be able to do to right that nose gear. In the meantime, firefighters at the Long Beach Airport, they are standing by and prepared for every possible emergency. And we are going to stay with that shot here as they just go on the upwind leg from the uh, Long Beach Airport. And again, we don't know where. All these pilots and the co-pilots, the flight crew, they plan for each of these contingencies, all kinds of emergency landings year-round. They have biennial flight reviews, and they're prepared for every possible contingency. Viewers at home watched the drama unfold on live TV. Thanks to in-flight access to direct TV, the passengers did as well. Luckily, the video on the plane was turned off before the nail-biting landing. Although there was smoke, sparks, and flame, the malfunctioning aircraft landed safely. All viewers, in and out of the plane, breathed a huge sigh of relief. But you can see no indications of any fire on board this aircraft. It appears that this has all come to a very safe conclusion. Uh, we can guess now that the, uh, the emergency equi equipment is heading in that direction. Bill Thomas in Air 7, what are you seeing? Absolutely. Emergency crews are in position now. They are approaching the aircraft. You just saw them execute that soft field landing. Land as slow as you can without stalling the aircraft. They brought the nose down very gently at the end of the runway. They used up about 95% of the runway. And in just moments now, what you'll see is the emergency doors opening up and everybody will use the emergency chutes at the direction of the stewardesses and stewards, the flight attendants. You can see the uh, on the left side of that uh, JetBlue flight 292, one, two, and three doors there. They'll be opening any moment now. Number four, alien message. Are we alone in the universe? Maybe we already have an answer. These include stopping the execution of all captured prisoners of war, allowing to stay from the negotiations, being arrested. In Australia, Mr. Kerry Packer and his cricketers are still pleading for the US High Court decision, which did plan on the playing in test matches. On November 26, 1977, an independent television news program was suddenly interrupted in parts of southern England. A distorted voice identifying itself as Ashtar Galactic Command ordered humans to get rid of their weapons to attain a higher state of evolution. This is the voice of Grimma, representative of the Ashtar Galactic Command, speaking to you. For many years, you have seen us as knights and as scholars. We speak to you now, we say the same as we have done to your brothers and sisters all over this, your planet Earth. The interruption lasted six minutes, prompting hundreds of calls from worried viewers. The perpetrator was never identified. Our species didn't abandon its weapons, so maybe the enlightened extraterrestrials threw up their hands and wandered off to contact other worlds. We understand that viewers in some parts of the region are receiving a breakthrough in sound. We're sorry about this, and we're doing our best to rectify the fault. Number 3. Thirsty Ghost 
This freaks us out just to watch. In December 2015, the Honduran Morning Show, Primera Edición, or First Edition, experienced an unexpected visitation. As Carlos Molina sat at his desk, his glass of water suddenly moved of its own volition. He asked colleague Pablo Zapata if he had seen the same thing. Molina later claimed that it was not a prank and that he had experienced a chill right before the glass moved. It could have been due to condensation on the glass, but you wouldn't catch us still sitting at that desk trying to figure it out. Number 2. A Ghostly Fan There's something instantly frightening about seeing a shadow where it doesn't belong. <laughs> No wonder soccer fans in Bolivia freaked out when they saw this news footage. The TV station was doing live coverage of a match at Hernando Siles Stadium in La Paz, Bolivia. But the game wasn't the biggest thing that caught people's attention. A shadow could be seen sprinting through the stands. Pero recurrimos al archivo que tenemos del partido precisamente el jueves por la noche entre Deportivo Sporting y El Tigre y pueden observar ustedes que hay una sombra negra que cruza en medio de la tribuna. Mira usted esa sombra negra, va caminando, cruza en medio de la malla que hay ahí y llega hasta el otro sector en el Hernando Siles. It moved through people and barriers, so it didn't appear to be human. No one has been able to fully explain this incident. Therefore, it left many believing they'd seen a live broadcast of a ghost. I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. I mean, you've got two shadows. It's how they hunt. Number 1. We interrupt this newscast for a tornado. In 2011, viewers of WREX News were keeping a close eye on the weather map displayed on their screens. A meteorologist was explaining the path of an oncoming tornado. Um, I would say this is right near Westfield and. For many, this report was their tie to outside events. So imagine the trepidation they probably felt when the voice on screen suddenly cut out. One long breath later, a voice came back on air. All right, we're back on the air. I just evacuated our entire studio, uh, except uh, Cindy and me. Um, if you're in the back studio, you guys, um, if you, if you want to just leave the Doppler radar and leave our mics open, I'd like to have everybody that's at the WREX studios in the basement a developing tornado now near the town of Winnebago. Do we still have Aaron Brackett? Uh, we may not still have him. He's out here chasing, and he'll let us know. Cindy, could you send him a text and send yep, right now. To, uh, to be on our phone? We might be able to actually put the phone up to our microphone. At this point, the tornado was getting very close to the station, and things were getting unsafe. Everyone took shelter in the basement, and coverage continued. Although it was a frightening experience, the news team and viewers were in it together. If you are near the WREX station around Winnebago, Pegatonica, the west side of Rockford, it's time to take your tornado precautions at this moment. Please head down into your basement. If you do not have a basement, the most interior part of your home, closets, bathrooms, put as many walls between you and the outside walls of your home or apartment as possible. If you live in an apartment complex, uh, head downstairs to yeah. your neighbor. If you are on the second or third floor, find a neighbor, head downstairs to the lowest part as possible. All right, we're going to keep the chills coming because for our last video, we got some unbelievable near-death experiences that were caught on camera. Hope these people also bought lottery tickets. The red car swerves to avoid the gray car and then crashes into the gas station. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 near death experiences caught on security footage. When two cars enter the crossroads from different sides and swerve to avoid a collision. For this list, we'll be looking at the most spine chilling close shaves with death that were captured on camera. Have you ever had such a lucky escape? Number 10 Concrete Footpath Caves In. Many of us have had their irrational fear of falling into a drainage, but for this incredibly lucky man, that fear almost became a reality. 
Security cameras outside a store show the man casually approaching the facility, but just as he walks over a concrete pavement, it crumbles right under him, exposing a deep drainage beneath. One second later, and the poor guy probably would have been whisked right into the lair of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't believe this! Oh. Yes! Fortunately, he survives, and from the horrified look on his face, even he cannot believe just how lucky he is. Number 9. Close Call with an Out-of-Control Car Around the world, police officers put their lives on the line whenever they go out to work. For some, that risk may come from engaging dangerous criminals, but for one Spanish policeman, it was an out-of-control car. In the footage, a pump attendant tops up the cop's vehicle at a gas station in Monaver, Spain. Out on the road, a gray car attempts to turn into the gas station, forcing an oncoming red BMW to swerve into the outlet to avoid it. The BMW hurdles right into the pump, narrowly missing the police officer and attendant. Luckily, no one was injured. A police officer and a pump attendant with excellent reflexes are able to jump out of the way just in time. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Number 8. Narrow Escape from Falling Concrete Block A popular comedy trope in movies and TV shows involves a heavy object, typically a piano or anvil, being dropped on a poor guy's head. There's absolutely nothing that can get me out here. But no one was laughing when a similar incident nearly happened to this young boy. It's not quite clear where or how the falling debris emerged, but the short CCTV clip shows the boy walking out of a building when a concrete block drops right next to him. It's so close that he feels the impact just by his feet and leaps to safety. Time makes all the difference here, as it probably would have been a different story if the young lad was one second late. Number 7. Car Collision Spares Pedestrian It frankly doesn't get any more fortunate than this. This incident reportedly occurred in eastern China in 2014. CCTV captured the moment when a pedestrian crossing the street was nearly sent to an early grave in a vehicle collision. In this shocking CCTV footage, a man can be seen crossing the street in eastern China when two cars enter the crossroads from different sides and swerve to avoid a collision. The vehicle is in question. A truck seemingly transporting goods and a small passenger car crash into each other at an intersection just as the man walks by. By some crazy stroke of luck, both vehicles then swerve just in time to avoid hitting the pedestrian. There are so many ways that this could have gone terribly wrong, but thankfully, none of them manifested and all parties involved came out of it unhurt. While both vehicles were heavily damaged, incredibly, no one was injured. Number 6. Gravel Truck Tips Over SUV An SUV driver in Kunming City of China's Yunnan province learned the hard way the risks of driving recklessly. On June 2, 2017, the SUV was caught on camera attempting to overtake a large gravel truck, seemingly without any proper indication. This proves to be a grave mistake as it causes the truck to lose control and tip over the smaller vehicle. The SUV is first buried by the gravel content, before the truck itself finally topples and falls on top of it. With the help of the passerby, the crushed stones are shoveled away and the driver makes it out alive. Things could have been way worse, especially considering the fuel tanker that was right in front of them. Number 5. Girl Pushes Friend Into Moving Bus What seemingly began as a prank turned into a terrifying near-death experience. On one April afternoon in 2018, two teenage girls were captured on security cameras walking down a sidewalk in Chetsuvitsa, Dijitsa, Poland. Suddenly, one of the girls pushes the other into the road just as a bus drives up beside them. The girl drops to the ground where one of the bus's back wheels misses her head just by a few inches. She manages to get back on her feet and is comforted by the offending friend. Although intended as a joke, the pusher was reprimanded by police and fined 70 euros for the ordeal. Number 4. Pedestrian Escapes Flying Car In this clip from a home security camera in West Yorkshire, England, a man walks along a street holding some shopping bags. Behind him, a vehicle attempts to overtake a car transporter in front of it, but miscalculates and hits its back wheel. This sends the car flying into the air, just behind the unsuspecting shopper. The vehicle somersaults multiple times, heading for the pedestrian who turns around just in time to throw his bags and take to his heels. As luck would have it, the car comes to a stop right where the man was standing, sparing him an unfortunate end. Number 3. Falling Between Moving Train Gap the Independencia station near Buenos Aires, Argentina was the site of a shocking incident that nearly took a woman's life. On March 29, 2022, the lady was standing at the platform seemingly waiting for a train when she reportedly suffered low blood pressure. CCTV footage shows the woman stagger towards the moving train and then fall right into the occupied rail line to the absolute horror of bystanders. 
After the train is halted, the woman is pulled out of the tracks and miraculously escapes with just a few bruises. She was then transported to a local hospital where she received treatment for her injuries. Number 2. Close Shave with Loose Tire Over the years, multiple deaths and serious injuries have been caused by loose speeding tires. So this shop owner from Thailand must count herself lucky after narrowly escaping getting hit by one. The incident was captured by a security camera just outside the store. The woman is seen apparently attending to a customer who sits in her parked car outside. Just as she's about to hand over a bag to the lady in the vehicle, a speeding tire zooms in between both of them before hitting a nearby wall and landing on the ground. While the shop owner seems to be unhurt, the woman in the car reportedly suffered some injuries. Number 1. Russian Man Cheats Death a man identified only as 27-year-old Alexander from Vlavstok in Russia narrowly averted a tragedy right in front of his residential building. In this clip, Alexander scrapes off ice from the windscreen of his car, but stops to look up and quickly dashes away. A split second later, a massive concrete block lands on the roof of the vehicle, destroying it completely. The slab, which reportedly weighed about 2 tons, fell off the side of the building and struck the same spot Alexander had been standing in. It's a distressingly narrow escape for Alexander, and thankfully, no one was seated in the damaged car. Alright, well that's going to do it for this deep dive into all the wild, creepy, and wacky things caught on camera. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. I definitely did. I've been Matt from Watch Mojo, and I'll see you next time.